Hello, first graders. Welcome to a new English lesson. Please get your literature anthology book ready and let's start. We're going to start with page 202. We are in uh, unit five, week three. Still talking about inventions and their inventors and let's start. Genre, biography, essential question. What inventions do you know about? Read about inventor Thomas Edison. Okay, we learn about biography. We know that it talks about real people. We know that it explains, um, it's usually written by someone and it's organized from in time order sequence and also using usually photographs or illustration to give us more information about um, that person or the inventors that we learn about. So we're gonna learn about Thomas Edison. Let's start. Thomas Edison, inventor by David A. Adler, illustrated by Sarah Snow. Okay. Chapter 1. Young Tom Edison asked lots of questions. When someone told him, I don't know, Tom had one more question. He asked, why don't you know? He did lots of experiments to find out. Okay. Tom watched a goose sit on some eggs. He saw the eggs hatch. He wanted to know what would happen if he sat on eggs. So Tom made a nest. Then he put goose and chicken eggs in the nest. Next, he sat on the eggs and found out. Splat! All right, so if we, using our... Uh, comprehension skills that we just learned about problem and solution. We're going to say the problem here that Tom was wondering, yeah, what will happen if he sits on eggs? So, okay, he will give it a try. So what did he do? He makes a nest and puts eggs, uh, puts the eggs in it. And then what happened? He sits on eggs. That's a solution. He learned that eggs will break as we see in this picture. All right. Young Tom also knew that birds ate worms, and birds could fly. What if people ate worms? Tom guessed that they would fly, too. So he gave a girl a cup of chopped worms and water. The girl drank it and got sick. And she didn't fly. All right, so if we look at this uh, page, we can see, for example, the sequence we're talking about that the author here, when he was talking, he, he show us some details about Tom's life um, in order what, how they happened. So they tell us first about the egg and then when he thought that if he have a nest and he put the eggs and he said he might, you know, hatch and be a chick or something. And now we find out that he turned to a partner and tried to discuss, um, all right, so if, eat, if you eat this worm, you might fly. And of course, this didn't make sense. But he was just trying to um, ex do more experiment because he's wandering around and like to find out why things happen. Tom Edison, the boy who asked all those questions and did those unusual experiments, became the man whose inventions changed the world. As we see, the most important thing here that the author wants to show that um, young Tom was never afraid to ask questions. He was always asked questions and tried to exp his experiments. And even if they didn't work, he never gave up. He would always try to try again. What was the problem? Maybe if I change that, um, my invention would be better. Tom Edison was born in 1847 in Milan, Ohio. He was the seventh and youngest child of Sam and Nancy Edison. Sam had a lumber mill. Nancy had been a teacher. When Tom had trouble in school, his mother became his teacher at home. Okay. He was in trouble because he was trying his experiments over his friends, and of course they were not happy. So his mom decided to teach him at home. Chapter 2. Young Tom did many of his experiments in the cellar of his home. He had lots of jars of chemicals. He wanted to keep people from messing with them. To fix the problem, he had an idea. He wrote poison on each jar. He thought that would keep others away. He was right. 
So can we see a problem here? Yes, problem that people used to mess up with the jars of chemical stuff he has. So what did he do? He writes poison on each jar as people won't be getting close. And that's, it worked. The solution worked, but people leave the jars alone because they know they're not interested in to uh, play with stuff like that. There were often smoke, strange smells, and loud noises in the Edison home. It all came from the cellar and from young Tom's experiments. All right. Next page. Tom needed money to pay for chemicals and other things. As a result, he got a job when he was 12. He sold newspapers and candies on trains. Then at 15, he began to write, print, and sell his own newspaper for travelers. He named it the Grand Trunk Herald. All right, so this is what he did for a living to make money so he can buy his experiment stuff and tools to uh, work hard. Tom wrote news of people he met on the train. He also wrote how he felt about work. The more to do, he wrote in his newspaper, the more done. Tom liked to keep busy. Tom kept very busy on the train. He even set up his own lab in the baggage car. All right, so from this two page, we can tell that Tom was not lazy at all. Even if he didn't have enough money, he tried to find a, a way to make the money so he can work on his experiments. So he was working hard, tried different job because he wants to make money because he was interested to do different experiments. All right, let's turn the page and see what- As Tom got older, he kept doing great things. There were no telephones at the time. Instead, messages were sent through telegraph wires. They were sent in a code of dots and dashes. Tom learned the code. He got a job sending and reading telegraph messages. He found new ways to use the telegraph. Those were some of his first inventions. All right, let's go for the next page. Chapter 3. When Tom grew up, he became an inventor. He invented all kinds of things that helped people. At that time, burning gas lights lit homes and streets. Sometimes smoke from the lights filled a room. Sometimes fire from the lights burned a home down. All right, so we can see in this page we have a problem. That the gas lights was filled the room with smoke and fire from the gas lights could burn the house. So this is a problem. We're going to see how he... Um, uh, Tom Addison find the solution for this uh, problem. We also can see in this page, as you can see that uh, homes and streets were lit by gas lights. And um, we try to say that the author tried to let us know that smoke from the gas lights were, was something that could fill the room and can cause um, um, illness or even fire for houses. Okay, so remember, we had a problem that the gas lights filled the rooms with smoke and that the fire uh, from the gas lights could burn the house. So let's try to find where the solution now. Tom was sure he could make a better light. So he did experiments with electric light. He had lots of ideas. His notes filled hundreds of notebooks. After more than a year of work, Tom did it. He made a light that was safe to use. The electric light is the light of the future, Tom said, and it will be my light. All right, so we know that he worked hard. This is, didn't happen in a day or two. This takes a long time and lots of trial and maybe working, not working, till he first had the steps of solution when he had experiments with electric light, but then um, was not 100% safe. Then later on, he made his uh, electric lights that light in of the future. Edison's lights were big news. People came from all over to see them. Once they saw the Edison lights, they wanted them in their homes. Tom's lights brightened the world. Tom Edison spent his whole life making great things. The things he made helped people everywhere. All right, so if we just before continue looking at what uh, Tom did when he um, learned the code for the telegraphs and he was 
um, get a job uh, reading and sending messages. And after that, he was working in a, um, in, in, a, in a station. So he was like always trying, always working hard, always try to make money and always try to find a solution for problems. And he did a great job. Let's see about his photo album. Thomas Edison, photo album. Thomas Alva Edison at age 15. Edison invented the first machine that could record sounds and play them back. Without this, we might have no music players or movies and TV with sound today. Edison made this early music player using his own sound machine. So, um, Edison actually invented lots of things, but that was one of the most important things that make a big difference in the whole world. It's that uh, the lights, the electric lights. Edison's light bulb design looks similar to the ones we use today. Thomas Edison in his lab in Menlo Park, New Jersey. Edison invented the first machine for viewing films. Without this machine, there would be no movies. So as we see, how many inventions did he um, work with or invent? And we saw the sequence that when he was a child, what did he do when he grew older, when he grew older, and that's the last thing that we see about. All right, let's meet the author. Meet the author. David A. Adler says, I love to write. With Tom Edison's invention, the light bulb, I can write even after the sun goes down. David Adler has written all kinds of fiction and nonfiction for children. He especially likes writing biographies of people who acted in ways that children can learn from. Author's Purpose David A. Adler wanted to tell how curious Tom Edison was even when he was a boy. Think of something you are curious about. Write your question and how you could find the answer. All right. We remember when we say curious means like, interesting to know how it works or what made of what. Of course, safety need to be the most important thing, but we always it's always good to ask questions. So if you're interested in something or curious about something, maybe you should ask mom or dad how this work or why it's working this way or why it doesn't work the other the other way. And that's how probably you're gonna come up with something to make life easy. All right. Um, retell the story. When we retell, as we said, it's a biography, so it starts from in order. So you need to start what happened first. So this is when you say, you cannot just say that, oh, Thomas Edison invented the electric light or the electric, um, uh, or the invented the, the machine for the movie machine or something like that. Or, no, you have to start how did he invent first and how did he act when he was in a school and when his parents helped him to study at home and how did he manage to make money he how what did he do for a living what kind of job did he do to make money so he can buy his um, um, equipments and tools for his experiments all right okay let's read make connection how do electric lights make your life better of course you can always have fun and act uh, during the night, so you can read, you can do your work, you can uh, paint, you can play games, you can do everything because you don't need to wait for the sun. You can do it, and, and even after the sunset, because we all have electricity, and we all have the light bulb that we can just turn the light on and enjoy and continue our day. All right, that's it for today, first graders. We learn about um, Thomas Edison. We also learn about um, different uh, invention that he was a part of it or he uh, made it easier and safer for people to use. All right, that's it for today, first graders. Thank you. Bye-bye.